There we go. Goof with the uh, low latency. I'm actually going to try and make an effort to uh, get these synced up. Okay, there we go. That's about right. And Flame Haze with the early death. Um, how are we going to see the other racers get a flag plant lead over him pretty quickly? Really annoying <laughs> um, room here, though. Those blue slimes have to put, kill them in the top position to be able to get through here. Tire Bat blocking up the shop here as well. See who's going to make it th down first, though. Um, I think it was Goof by a very, very slim margin. It's pretty, it was pretty much even. Very rough 1-1, one -one, though. Long-winded layout and some pretty nasty enemy placement. Flame Haze getting down to 1-2 next. King Torture bringing up the rear. Goof getting the Leprechaun. Oh, and down goes Flame Haze. Looks like Ain't None maybe missed the Leprechaun. I think Goof was the first one down to 1 3 between the two of them, but it, again, it very close. And Ain't None gonna get surrounded, go down. So it's back to 1 1 for Ain't None. Goof can secure a pretty nice uh, flag plant lead here if he can finish this out. Um, his boss is dead, he just needs to reach the exit. And. On to 1-4. Oh, and going for the throw bomb. Very risky, and he gets the bad teleport. Uh, with the one bomb, that's a pretty risky uh, strategy. Not one I would recommend. Okay, King Torture is on 1-3 now. Yeah, this is a seed that's kind of rough to run. Um, having to rerun a really long-winded 1-1 one -one like this constantly after every death uh, can be really taxing. Um, can really put you on tilt. So, Racer's gonna have to keep it together. Uh, just keep their nerves under control. And Flame Haze onto 1-3 as well. Looks like King Torture... Cleaning this up, looking to get down to 1-2, or to Twisty Blue's fight, rather. I think looking for a shop. Okay, but on to Deep Blue's, so is now in second place. Going for the throw bomb as well, but does have the extra bomb, but unfortunately gets the setup where you need two! Okay, he has a way out, though. He can check red or purple for some sort of bomb. Um, gets a ring of piercing. Doesn't do you much good when you don't have a dagger. Nonetheless, he is going to be the first one onto zone 2. But without a weapon and only one bomb. Gonna check this shot, but uh, getting gonna get pinned by the armadillo. Down he goes. Okay, Flame Haze is now on the Deep Blues fight. And has dagger has his dagger and gold. Oh, but kills himself without clearing the floor. He could have um, advanced himself one position by just getting to 2 1. But with that, his flag is planted behind Goof. Goof going for the throw bomb again. It's gonna do the exact same thing it did last time. Your only choice is to try and fight it regularly. And I'm going down to the skeleton. Oh man, this is a bloodbath. We might, we might not see a run further than that. Um, than King Torture's two-one if this keeps up. <laughs> and. 
I'm just, I'm just head my hands right now because I, I, I always talk about how important it is on Coda to just learn the deep blues openers, to just drill that fight, and every racer going for the throw bomb, and it's just not working. Inknun actually bringing up the rear still has yet to um, reach Deep Blues, and he needs to win the Deep Blues fight if he wants to get any points out of this round. Yeah, this zone one is a real, uh, it's a real trial for these racers. Okay, Ink Nun getting down to 1-3 again. Flame Haze also on 1-3. Flame Haze kind of taking them a long way around. Really doing all the shopping he can to try and, uh, prepare for the fight. Very nice use of the shield spell. Wow, very nicely done on Flame Haze's side. That was a swarm and a half. Okay, and Ink Nun is now on Deep Blues. Going for the throw and gets a bad teleport. Okay, and Flame Haze actually manages to make the throw and bomb work. He can walk around to that dagger and keep himself alive. So Flame Haze, going to be on to 2-1. King Torture using the shield spell to try and make this fight um, doable. Really nicely handled. And he's going to do it. Clearing the fight without the throw of bomb. But Flame Haze has taken the lead here, he's on 2-2. Two, two. And we're finally starting to see some Zone 2 action this run. Yeah, I think I need to, like, I always say that, like, the openings are generally the same. Like, most of the openings you follow the same gist, but I think I kind of need to get around to making a video, like, detailing each individual opening to give uh, people a better idea on how it works. Flame Haze on 2-3. Um, King Torture on 2-2. Two, two. two of them really running away with this one. Less than four minutes remain. Goof back to Deep Blues. Going for the Throne Bomb again, it's gonna do the same thing again. It's gonna do the same thing every time it goes to the right side like that. He is making it to 2-1, but that's not that's not worth anything right now. Um, both the other, like, uh, Ink Nun, who had the same flag plant, did it after him, so he wasn't losing points to that. Um, and the other two races are ahead. Looking for Blast Helm out of this uh, headwear conjure. Not getting anything. Down goes Goof. I mean, I understand being uncomfortable with the Deep Blues fight, but when throwing Bomb fails four times in a row, you just have to go for it. Okay, looks like Ink Nun finally uh, getting a winning strategy here, though. And is going to clear Deep Blues. Flame Haze is on to Zone 3. Ink Nun is on to Zone 2. If he can clear 2 1, he will pull ahead of Goof. Flame Haze on to 3 2. It looks like uh, King Torture went down to Kanga. I missed that. 
Very unfortunate, though, and looks like it's going to secure Flame Haze the victory for this round. Because there are less than two minutes remaining. If Inknun can reach these exit, Okay, Inknun reaches the exit. Pulls into third place. One point on the board. And I think getting, you know, zeroing in too much on the red dragon there, walking into a yellow skeleton, gonna go down. Goof can still take this back. He's got a minute and a half remaining. Um, and if he can reach 2-3, he will take a point, um, take a point away from Ingdon here. But not much time left. Just over a minute. And he's only on, um, oh, he's uh, dead again. He's on 1-1, so... I don't think it's happening anymore. Uh, meanwhile, Flame Haze up to 3-3. Three, three. On those floaty boots, normally a pretty bad pick, but considering that it's not likely we'll see Zone 5, um, don't think I really have a problem with that. Flame Haze on to Death Metal. Flame Haze just taking this one and running. Has Freeze Tomes on deck. It's a pretty good kill, um option there. Looks like uh, King Torture going to throw in the towel for the round. 2-4, solid enough. Flag plant. That's... Oh! I think maybe using the wrong spell there. Using shield. But Flame Haze going to firmly flag plant at 3-4. Yeah, Goof is on hard mode, so I think he's done here. Um, yeah, this race looks to be just about done.